Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to make aqua regia, we're going to learn about its chemical properties, we're going to learn about how it dissolves gold, and we're going to learn about how to make its various properties. So, so what is aqua regia and its use? Aqua regia is a mixture of nitric acid and hydrochloric acid at a molar ratio of 1 to 3, optimally. So, the use of aqua regia, it can dissolve noble metals such as gold and platinum, but not all metals. Aqua regia is mainly used for the manufacture of chlorooric acid. So, how to dissolve gold? Hydrochloric acid combined with nitric acid creates a liquid known as is aqua regia or royal water that's a translation of it so that's a simple formula but how do you make hydrochloric acid so here's one of the various ways you can make hydrochloric acid you can combine sodium bisulfate with dihydrogen oxide and sodium chloride and all of that creates hydrochloric gas hydrogen chloride gas and if you combine that with water you can make it into a liquid so the hydrogen chloride gas combines with the water to create hydrochloric acid in liquid form you could eventually distill it as you like the exact procedure is not presented for safety purposes but if you do understand chemistry which is why we're learning about these videos you would be able to set it up yourself and essentially create it so continuing on Gold is a chemical element with the symbol AU from Latin Aurum and atomic number 79, making it one of the higher atomic number elements that occur naturally. In a pure form, it is a bright, slightly reddish yellow, dense, soft, malleable, and ductile metal. Its name from Latin Aurum, meaning gold, atomic number 79, atomic radius, empirical 144 picometers. So again, its description says that it's one of the elements found in its pure form in nature. The reason that is, is because it doesn't react with other elements such as oxygen, it doesn't oxidize, and it is able to stay shiny and it's able to stay in its elemental form combined with itself as a metal and that's why we're able to find gold nuggets out in nature and collect them and that's why there was this whole gold rush in California and people wanted to mine as much gold as they could find. The reason that I'm making this video for how to make aqua regia is because gold is one of the most difficult metals on the periodic table to dissolve and I wanted to dissolve that difficulty no pun intended that shows the procedure for how to do that so yeah that's what we're doing let's continue so focus on gold this metal has a wide range of modern practical applications gold coins such as this byzantine one from around 600 ce have been used as currency for a long time the most reliable microchips have gold connections that rarely corrode or fail the domes of some buildings such as brunelli's james ars Hanali's brokal mosques are covered in gold so gold this precious metal is very soft and easy to shape 0.06 cubic and one cubic centimeter of gold can be drawn into a wire of five 540 feet 165 meters long without breaking or hammered into 10 square feet one square meter of foil because of this gold has been used extensively in making jewelry for thousands of years its atomic mass is 196.967 its state is solid its discovery is around 30,000 bce nuggets such as this one are rare as most gold is found as dust mixed into rocks so that's why it's very hard for a lot of gold miners to find gold not because it's not necessarily there but because they don't necessarily know the process for how to extract it in nature as it's found in dust and combined into the rocks. Continuing on with gold, gold is a chemical element with the symbol AU and atomic number 79, making it one of the higher atomic number elements that occur naturally. In a pure form, it is a bright, slightly reddish yellow, dense, soft, malleable, and ductile metal. Chemically, gold is a transition metal and a group 11 element. Its symbol is AU, its atomic number is 79, its atomic mass is 196.96657U, its melting point is 1948 degrees Fahrenheit or 1064 degrees Celsius. Its electron configuration is xenon, 4F14, 5D10, 6S1. One, its boiling point is 4,892 degrees Fahrenheit or 2,700 degrees Celsius. So let's continue. As previously discussed, aqua regia is a combination of hydrochloric acid and nitric acid and it's used to dissolve gold. Continuing on, aqua regia is a mixture of nitric acid and hydrochloric acid, optimally in a molar ratio of 1 to 3. Aqua regia is a yellow-orange fuming liquid, so named by alchemists, because it can dissolve noble metals gold and platinum, though not all metals. So its formula is HNO3 plus HCl. Its boiling point is 220. 6.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 108 degrees Celsius. Its solubility in water is miscible. Its melting point is negative 42 degrees Celsius or negative 44 degrees Fahrenheit or 231 degrees Kelvin. It's composed of a ratio from 1 to 3. So let's continue on with sodium nitrate. So sodium nitrate is a chemical compound. Sodium nitrate is a chemical compound with the formula NaNO3. This alkali metal nitrate salt is also known as chili saltpeter to distinguish it from ordinary saltpeter. Potassium nitrate, the mineral form, is also known as natritite or soda nitre. Its formula is NaNO3. 
its molar mass is 84.9947 grams per mole. Its IUPAC ID is sodium nitrate. Its melting point is 586.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 308 degrees Celsius. Its boiling point is 716 degrees Fahrenheit or 380 degrees Celsius. So continuing on, sodium nitrate is a kind of salt that has long been used to preserve foods. Well, you can find it in many foods including bacon, beef jerky, ham, hot dogs, lunch meat, salami, and smoked fish. It creates a distinct flavor, controls lipid oxidation, and acts as an antimicrobial. So let's talk about water in this reaction. So water is an organic, transparent, tasteless, odorless, and nearly, and nearly colorless chemical substance, which is the main constituent of the Earth's hydrosphere and all the fluids of all known living organisms. It, it is vital for all forms of life, even though it provides no calories or organic nutrients. Its molar mass is 18.01528 grams per mole. Its boiling point is 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Its density is 997 kilograms per meter cubed. Its formula is H2O. Its melting point is 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. Its IUPAC ID is oxidecan or water. Water. water is an organic, transparent, tasteless, odorless, and nearly colorless chemical substance, which is a main constituent of Earth's hydrosphere and the fluids of all known living organisms. It is vital for all known forms of life, even though it provides no calories or organic nutrients. Here's hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid. It's one of the acids that we're using to combine to create aqua regia. So it consists of the element hydrogen, which is a metal, and chlorine, which is a halogen. So the halogen oxidizes the hydrogen and it becomes a gas. We can condense that in liquid liquefy it, combining it with water to make hydrochloric acid as seen here. So we're taking the gas and then combining it with water to produce liquid hydrochloric acid. So the second method of producing hydrochloric acid is taking sodium chloride because sodium chloride consists of the element of the metal sodium and the halogen chlorine, which is basically rusty sodium being oxidized by the element chlorine and sulfuric acid, which is basically rusty hydrogen being oxidized by sulfur and oxygen, sulfur being basically concentrated amounts of oxygen. So that combines together to create sodium sulfate and hydrogen chloride gas. Again, once you have the hydrogen chloride gas, you can use various processes to combine it with water and produce the hydrogen chloride liquid that we need to create aqua regia. So here's sodium chloride. So sodium chloride, commonly known as salt, is an ionic compound with the chemical formula NaCl, representing a one-to-one -one ratio of sodium and chloride ions with molar masses of 22.99 and 35.45 grams per mole, respectively. 100 grams of NaCl contains 39.34 grams of Na and 60.66 grams of Cl. So its molar mass is 58.44 grams per mole. Its formula is NaCl. Its IUPAC ID is sodium chloride. Its melting point is 1,474 degrees Fahrenheit or 801 degrees Celsius. Its boiling point is 2,669 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,465 degrees Celsius. It's soluble in water, ammonia, ethanol, glycerol, methanol, formic acid, propylene glycol, and formaldehyde. So let's talk about those molecules. So the molecules, as you know, are H2O, water, previously discussed, NH3, which is ammonia, C2H5OH, which is ethanol, C3H8O3, which is glycerol, CH3O8, which is methanol, CH2O2, which is formic acid, C3H8O2, which is propylene glycol, and CH3 and O3, which is formanide. So let's take a look at these mentioned molecules. So ammonia is a compound of nitrogen and hydrogen with the formula NH3, a stable binary hydride, and the simplest pinktogen hydride. Ammonia is a colorless gas with a distinct characteristic of a pugnant smell. The more general ingredient is nitrogen. Its classification is an inorganic compound and ethanol. Ethanol is an organic chemical compound. It is a simple alcohol with the chemical formula C2H6O. Its formula can be also written as CH3, CH2OH, or C2H5OH, and is often abbreviated as ETOH. Ethanol. Ethanol is a volatile, flammable, colorless liquid with a slight characteristic odor. Its molar mass is 46.07 grams per mole. Its formula is C2H5OH. Its boiling point is 173.1 degrees Fahrenheit, or 78.37 degrees Celsius, its density is 789 kilograms per meter cubed. Its melting point is negative 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 114.1 degrees Celsius. Its IUPAC ID is ethanol. Another mention of ethanol, ethanol also called ethyl alcohol, grain alcohol, drinking alcohol, or simply alcohol, is an organic chemical compound. It is a simple alcohol with the chemical formula C2H6O. Its formula can also be written as CH3-CH2-OH or C, ethanol. So glycerol. 
Glycerol, also called glycerine in British English or glycerine in American English, is a simple polyol compound. It is a colorless, odorless, viscous liquid that is sweet tasting and non-toxic. The glycerol backbone is found in those lipids known as glycerides. Propylene glycol is a viscous, colorless liquid which is nearly odorless but possesses a faintly sweet taste. Its chemical formula is CH3CHCH2OH. Containing two alcohol groups, it is classified as a diol. It is miscible with a broad range of solvents including water, acetone, and chloroform. Its molar mass is 76. 6.09 grams per mole. Its boiling point is 370.8 degrees Fahrenheit or 188.2 degrees Celsius. Its density is 1.04 grams per centimeter cubed. Its formula is C3H8O2. Its melting point is negative 74.2 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 59 degrees Celsius. Its solubility in water is miscible. So here's formic acid. Formic acid, systematically named methoanoic acid, is the simplest carboxylic is the simplest carboxylic acid and has the chemical formula H2CO2. It is an important intermediate in chemical synthesis and occurs naturally most notably in some ants. So its formula is CH2O2. Its molar mass is 46.025, grams per mole. Its IUPAC ID is formic acid. Its boiling point is 213.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 100.8 degrees Celsius. Its density is 1.22 grams per centimeter cubed and its K value is 1.8 times 104, according to strongnet.org. Continuing on, formanide is the simplest monocarboxylic acid amide obtained by formal condensation of formic acid with ammonia, the parent of the class of formaldehydes. It has a role as a solvent. It is a monocarboxylic acid amide, a one carbon compound, and a member of formanites. It derives from a formic acid. Here is its structure, carbon with hydrogen, a double bonded oxygen, and a nitrogen with a hydrogen. So here's formanite again. Formanite, also known as methamonite, is an amide derived from formic acid. It is a clear liquid which is miscible in water and has an ammonia-like odor. It is a chemical feedstock for the manufacture of sulfa drugs and other pharmaceuticals, herbicides, pesticides, and the manufacture of hydrocyanic acid. So its boiling point is 410 degrees Fahrenheit or 210 degrees Celsius. Its molar mass is 45.04 grams per mole. Its formula is CH3NO3. Its density is 1.13 grams per centimeter cubed. Its acidity or pK is 23.5 and DMSO. Its viscosity is 3.23 CP, according to microcat.gr. So let's continue on with nitric acid and the various compounds that are used to produce it. Again, danger. So nitric acid, the first method method for nitric acid is to take sodium nitrate and combine it with sodium bisulfate monohydrate and here are the two ways that it can be written. I didn't know which one was the accurate formula so I just wrote down both of them. So when you combine both of this and heat it up you get nitric acid and sodium sulfate. Nitric acid is the thing that we are trying to attain. Nitric acid can produce nitrogen dioxide along with water and oxygen gas. Nitrogen dioxide is a orange brown gas so here we're going to analyze nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide is a chemical compound with the formula NO2. It is one of the several nitrogen oxides. NO2 is an intermediate in the industrial synthesis of nitric acid, millions of tons of which are produced each year for use primarily in the production of fertilizers at higher temperatures. It is a reddish brown gas. Its molar mass is 46.0055 grams per mole. Its formula is NO2. So here is nitrogen dioxide. It's nitrogen combined with oxygen. So here it's bonded twice and here it's bonded once. So continuing on, an alternative way to make nitric acid is by combining calcium nitrate with sulfuric acid, which requires you to already have a certain type of acid. Let's actually talk about how to make sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is made by first getting sulfur and combining it with the oxygen in the air. So it's oxidized by burning it to create sulfur dioxide. And then once you have sulfur dioxide, you can extract the sulfur from ores such as copper sulfide, which is found as the formula CuSO4H2O, which is its hydrate version. So we can extract the sulfur dioxide from the rock, for example, with heat. Once you have the sulfur dioxide, you can combine that with more oxygen. The equilibrium usually favors sulfur dioxide, but with a vanadium catalyst, we can get the sulfur dioxide to oxidize to sulfur trioxide. We combine the sulfur trioxide with a form of water or a form of concentrated sulfuric acid, which is already pre-made or already pre-existing. So that would be H2SO4. Combining the sulfur trioxide with water or pre-existing sulfuric acid creates a concentrated version of sulfuric acid known as oleum. So here is 
disulfuric acid. Disulfuric acid or pyrosulfuric acid, also named oleum, is an oxyacid of sulfur. It is a major constituent of fuming sulfuric acid, oleum, and this is how most chemists encounter it. So its formula is H2S2O7. Its molar mass is 178.14 grams per mole. Its chem spider ID is 56433. So oleum or fuming sulfuric acid is a term referring to solutions of various compositions of sulfur trioxide and sulfuric acid, or sometimes more specifically disulfuric acid. Oleum is identified by the CAS number 801 14-95-7 its molar mass is 98.082 grams per mole its boiling point is 535.3 degrees Fahrenheit or 279.6 degrees Celsius its public chem CID is 24681 according to NIH.gov so continuing on let's talk about the process of producing sulfuric acid so first we start again quick review we start with solid sulfur and we turn it into liquid sulfur we combine it with the air to get sulfur dioxide so as previously mentioned we have the sulfur dioxide and then we have to combine it with more more oxygen to get sulfur trioxide. And in order to do that and reach that equilibrium, we need a vanadium catalyst. So vanadium oxide, vanadium 5 oxide, specifically is used in order to favor the reaction at lower temperatures and get it to be sulfur trioxide. So once we have sulfur trioxide, we're able to combine the sulfur trioxide with some water and some sulfuric acid to produce more concentrated versions of sulfuric acid. So the SO3 with the sulfuric acid produces oleum as previously discussed. This is the oleum. The oleum produces H2S2O7 in liquid form and it also produces H2S2O7 and oleum when combined with more water gets diluted to two moles of H2 SO4, which is sulfuric acid that we use. In order to prevent it from escaping out into the air, we have sodium carbonate salts that are acidic scrubbers that prevent it from creating acid rain in the process. Calcium carbonate could also have been used. A quick review of sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate, Na2CO3 times 10 h 20 is an inorganic compound with the formula Na2CO3 and its various hydrates. All forms are white, odorless, water-soluble salts that yield moderately alkaline solutions in water. Historically, it was extracted from the ashes of plants growing in sodium-rich soils. Molar mass is 105.9888 grams per mole. Its formula is Na2CO3. Its melting point is 1,564 degrees Fahrenheit or 851 degrees Celsius. Its density is 2.54 grams per centimeter cubed. Its boiling point is 2,000. 912 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,600 degrees Celsius. It's soluble in water. So now that we've learned how to make sulfuric acid, let's go back to the sulfuric acid and how to make nitric acid with sulfuric acid. So once you have sulfuric acid, you mix it with calcium nitrate because the nitrate, the NO3 that will be used for the sulfuric acid is within that. The hydrogen is within the sulfuric acid, so they do a double replacement and that causes the calcium to recombine with the sulfate and the hydrogen to recombine with the nitrate and that creates calcium sulfate as a result so we have calcium sulfate and then nitric acid i wrote it differently but even though it has the parentheses it's still nitric acid so it creates nitric acid a quick review sodium bisulfate monohydrate the formula is h3naO5s sodium bisulfate nahso 4 and h 20 sodium bisulfate monohydrate sodium hydrogen sulfate is a moderately water and acid soluble sodium salt source for use is compatible with sulfate Sulfates, most metal sulfate compounds, are readily soluble in water for uses such as water treatment, unlike fluorides and oxides, which tend to be insoluble. So just a quick review, what does sulfuric acid do to your body? Sulfuric acid is a highly corrosive chemical that is potentially explosive in concentrated form. It can cause severe skin burns and can irritate the nose and throat and can cause difficulties breathing if inhaled, can burn the eyes and possibly cause blindness, and can burn holes in the stomach if swallowed. Sodium bisulfate is used primarily to lower the pH. It is also used in metal fishing, cleaning products, and to lower the pH of water for effective chlorination in swimming pools and hot tubs. So sodium bisulfate, the reason I mentioned those again is because again, those are molecules that are used to create nitric acid. So that was Aqua Regia explained in 30 minutes or less. If you're interested in watching the previous video, it was how to make copper carbonate in seven minutes or less. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be coming up with new videos for the periodic table and molecules and other elements. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.